Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a video that has been very highly requested. I'm gonna be sharing with you my current crystal collection. And this video is also in collaboration with my favorite crystal brand. So before we get into this video, a huge thank you to Angel of Hearts for sponsoring today's video and for sending me over the beautiful new crystals that are in my collection. I'll put in the video now of me unboxing the crystal chocolate box she sent me when I first received it. So for anyone who doesn't know, Angel of Hearts is an ethically sourced crystal brand based in the UK. She ships worldwide, she has an amazing selection, and she's always putting new items up. As well as that, she donates a percentage of her profits each month to a charity, which she swaps over and changes every month. So all round, this is just an incredible brand to support and a lovely person behind it. So thank you again to Angel of Hearts for sponsoring today's video. I'll be linking her down below, so go check out her TikTok, Instagram, and Etsy page. So without further ado, I'm gonna get into my crystal collection. So to show you my crystals, I'm just filming at my altar with the flash on. I feel like this is the best setup I could get for showing you how beautiful these crystals actually are. The flash usually does them justice. We have a lot to get through, which I'm very excited about. And they're all in color coordination at the moment, which is actually a really good way I find of organizing my crystals because the color of a crystal can actually tell you quite a lot about what it can do for you and what chakra it works with. So I think I'm just gonna start at the top with purples and then work my way down. I'll do my absolute best to remember the properties of these crystals, but I'm definitely not gonna know all of them. Probably mostly just the ones that I've worked with personally and the ones that I know work for me but obviously I'll be able to name all of the crystals so if you're drawn to any of them you can search up their properties. So the first crystal that I have to show is Bismuth which is actually one of the newest crystals in my collection. I just think it is so interesting. I got this little piece of the kissing fish in Brighton but yeah it's naturally formed like this which I think is insane and it's just got all of these pretty colours in. I absolutely love it. Then moving on I've got Peacock Ore. This specific piece came from Angel of Hearts which is who's sponsoring today's video. The main thing that I know about this one is it's classed as a stone of joy and then I have this little piece of peacock ore which I got from a little crystal shop in Portsmouth. I don't remember the name of the shop off the top of my head but I will search it and put the name on the side of the screen. Next moving on to amethyst I have this beautiful amethyst cluster which again is from Angel of Hearts. I then have this little piece of amethyst, which is probably the one that I'm least drawn to and use the least. I just bought this from a little Depop shop, I think. Then I have this little amethyst angel, which I got from Salamanders in Maidstone. Then this big old chunk of amethyst, which might actually be my favourite one. I got this from the Portsmouth Crystal Shop again. I think it was about £3, which is amazing for the size of it. Then this little amethyst tooth, which I got from Two Feathers in Brighton. And this little amethyst tooth, which was from the same place. And finally, this little baby amethyst cluster, which is from Salamanders in Maidstone again. The other purple crystal I have is Iolite, which again is a new one to my collection, but this is good for physical or spiritual guidance and helping to calm emotions. 
I will actually point out, I didn't used to be particularly drawn to amethyst, but it's now one of my favourite crystals. I find the energy of it so calming and it's one that's really good for my anxiety. In general, it's said to be good for anxiety, but I've personally found it very helpful. I wear amethyst every single day, which I'll show you in a little while when I show you my crystal jewellery. And I've also found it really helpful for sleep if I'm struggling with that at all. There's been numerous occasions where I've fallen asleep holding amethyst and it's been really helpful to me. So moving on to pink crystals. I have this big old chunk of rose quartz which I got from salamanders, literally for about two pounds. They're honestly amazing in there. For me, I find rose quartz good for self-love, self-confidence, romance, love with other people, whether that be romantic or platonic. In general, it's the stone of love, so it's good for all things revolving around it. My favorite thing to use rose quartz for is self-confidence and just self-love in general. As well as that big old piece, I also have this little piece which is a bit more portable, and this is just from Angel of Hearts again. You will probably notice throughout this video that I personally prefer raw crystals to tumble crystals. I have a lot more of them and by choice I always choose them over tumbled crystals. I just find the energy of them is stronger because they haven't been tumbled and for some reason I'm just a lot more drawn to them. Staying on pink crystals, I also have this little ball of angel aura quartz. At least I'm pretty sure that's what it is, someone will have to correct me if I'm wrong. And I also have this little piece of tangerine quartz, which was again from Two Feathers in Brighton. This is one of the oldest crystals in my collection and I still absolutely love it. Oh, I forgot I also have this little tiny ball of amethyst. <laughs> Moving on to blue crystals. I have lapis lazuli or lapis lazuli, whatever you want to call it. Then I have this celestite cluster, which again is from Angel of Hearts. This came in the little chocolate box she sent me. I then have this little cube of celestite and some blue gold stone which is absolutely beautiful. Then I have some soda light. This one I got from Portsmouth again and as soon as I picked it up I just felt the most calming energy coming off of it. And then I later read up that this is actually good for panic attacks and soothing emotions. I then have this piece of dyed calcite. I don't usually buy crystals that aren't in their natural colour, but I just really liked this. Then one of my favourite crystals, this is blue apatite. I find this really good for opening my throat chakra and for when I'm singing. Blue crystals in general, I just love to take on stage with me or have with me when I'm singing and I'm practising. This little crystal I got from Angel of Hearts. It was actually the first one I bought from her, which was the crystal that made me discover her brand. I was instantly drawn to this. I also have this little tumble stone of it, which is from Salamanders. I then have this little piece of blue obsidian. I'm pretty sure this is a man-made crystal. It just looks like a piece of glass. But I got this a couple of years ago and I was really drawn to it. And again, found it really good for opening my throat chakra. I then have this piece of opalite, which I got from Inge in Tunbridge Wells. This is another man-made crystal, but it still has healing properties to it. I then have this little piece of quartz. I can't remember what type of quartz this is, but this was again from Inge in Tunbridge Wells. I then have kyanite which is a crystal that's really good for balancing your chakras and that's my favourite thing to use this for is just if I'm doing a chakra meditation or I just want to balance all of my chakras and then I just have this little piece of amazonite which again I've had for about two years now used to be one of my favourite crystals and I have this little piece of agate as well then moving on to green crystals another old one in my collection is this piece of bloodstone which I've found in the past is very good for energy so if I've woken up feeling tired or just wanted to boost my energy a bit throughout the day. This is the crystal that I used for that. Another favourite crystal of mine is Tree Agate, which is the stone of inner peace. I just think it's a really interesting crystal and I find this good for if I just want to feel as calm as I possibly can and just to calm down my emotions and my body. I also have this little cube of Tree Agate, which again was from Two Feathers. I then have this little Labradorite Dragon's Egg, which is another newbie from my collection from Salamanders. I was after one of these for a while, so I was so glad to find it. Labradorite is another one that can be good for anxiety as well. I then have this piece of raw Labradorite from Angel of Hearts again. And this little Labradorite palm stone. Then I have this piece of raw fluorite. And I also have this little tumble of fluorite and another little tumble of it. Then I have this little piece of jade, which again used to be one of my favourite crystals, but I don't use it too much anymore. This is a raw piece of aquamarine, which I got from Angel of Hearts again. 
I also finally managed to get a piece of malachite recently. I did have one in my collection before, but I recently realized it was fake, which is not surprising because I got it from eBay, I think. But I got this piece from Angel of Hearts and I'm so happy that I finally have some. A lot of people say it's like a more mild version of Moldavite because it invites change into your life in a more gentle way than that does. I have this little piece of green gold stone. And finally, a piece of green calcite. Moving on to red crystals, I have this hefty old onyx egg, which has got so many beautiful colours running through it. We've got reds and whites and greens. This has got such a strong energy to it. Again, I got it in Portsmouth. The only thing I really know about onyx is that it's good for protection, and I can definitely feel that from the energy of this crystal. Then another new one to my collection, I have this piece of aragonite which I know one of its properties is that it's good for dealing with anger. I then have this piece of carnelian agate. Carnelian's one I wasn't particularly drawn to until recently, but it's a great stone for creativity. I also have this piece of raw carnelian, which is from Angel of Hearts again. I also have this little piece of agate. I have this beautiful piece of citrine. Obviously this is heat treated citrine, not natural citrine. I'd really like to get some at some point. Citrine is good for attracting success and happiness. I'm pretty sure it's good for careers and just for attracting money in general. I also have this little piece of citrine. Citrine used to be my favourite crystal when I first started out actually. I then have this little piece of bumblebee jasper, which is another old one in my collection. And then this piece of topaz, which is one of the rarer crystals in my collection. Another one of my favourite crystals is tiger's eye. I was looking for raw tiger's eye for so long and I absolutely love it. It's just got something about it. This is actually the first crystal I was probably ever drawn to because it was my favourite crystal when I was a kid and I had some of it then. One of the pieces from my childhood I still have in my collection now. But the main thing that I use this for is anxiety. It's another one that I find calms me down a lot. I also have this bigger raw piece. This was the first raw piece I got and I was so happy with it. This little piece is the one that I still have from my childhood. I'm not too drawn to it anymore, but obviously it's very special to me because it was the first crystal in my collection. And then this little baby piece of it. And this little tumble. I then have a piece of red tiger's eye. I then have this piece of bronzite, which I'd never heard of before. I got this from Gaia's Magic in Brighton. I have this little pyrite cube, which I also got from Gaia's Magic. This is good for protecting against negative energies. Then another one of my favourite crystals, Smoky Quartz. I didn't used to be a massive fan of Smoky Quartz, but now it's one of my favourites. Again, for calming anxiety and also for protection and grounding. It just has a very gentle energy to it, in my opinion. This little piece of it is from Angel of Hearts. This was the first little piece of it that I owned, which is from Two Feathers. And then the newest piece of this to my collection. And I have this little smoky quartz tumble, which I absolutely love. Then I have a little piece of Shungite and a little agate geode. This is black tourmaline, which I find absolutely amazing for PTSD and processing emotions. I just generally find it good for grounding and for processing trauma. This is definitely one of the crystals that I work with the most. I also have this little tumble of it, which I got from Angel of Hearts. Then I have black obsidian and hematite. I then have clear quartz, which again is another one of my favourite crystals. I find this amazing for concentration, having a clear mind and a clear view. Then I have Optical Calcite, which is another new one for me. This is apparently good for turning thoughts and ideas into actions and just taking action in general. 
I then have a little piece of howlite, which is good for insomnia, and then some pieces of moonstone. So this is just normal moonstone, I'm pretty sure. I then have rainbow moonstone. And then black moonstone or dark moonstone. This is one of my favourite crystals of all time. This is good for working through deep emotions and for new beginnings. I honestly think this crystal might have done the most for me out of all of my crystals, just to give me a push and open doors for me. And then finally, I have selenite, which I used to love to meditate with, and it's also good for connecting with your spirit guides. In terms of crystal jewellery, I have this clear quartz wrap necklace, which is coming undone to be fair. But I bought this from someone local to me. I then have this little amethyst wrap necklace, which I wrapped myself. Again, these are the little necklaces I'm selling, so if anyone's interested, send me a message over on Instagram. Then I have the necklaces that I wear every day, which is this little baby amethyst cluster, which is what's been helping me with my anxiety a lot. I've honestly seen such a difference since I set my intentions with this crystal and started wearing it. And I got this from Inga in Tunbridge Wells, although it was a one-off. And then I have this little amethyst charm, which I wear on the same chain, which my girlfriend gave me. And then I have this little clear quartz charm, which I literally never take off. And I wear this to keep a clear mind. And also because clear quartz can replace any other crystal you may need. It's the master healer, you literally can't go wrong with it. And it's one of the ones I'm most drawn to. And then I just have some little charms, which I go between and wear on a chain. So I have this little amethyst one. This little selenite charm. Another little selenite charm from a local seller. And then this little Labradorite chakra necklace. I then have this little angel aura quartz skull, which is from Ingear. A little piece of citrine. A little black tourmaline. And a black obsidian heart. And the final things I have to show are just my pendulums which I have this little clear quartz guardian angel one. And then just this little amethyst one. So pretty much that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my crystal collection and thank you again to Angel of Hearts for sponsoring today's video. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.